Ever wondered what would happen if a magnet the size of a planet came close to Earth? Well, one thing is for sure, it would not be a pretty sight. There are tons of scary objects in the universe, but magnetars may just be at the top of the list. Let's talk about these mysterious stars and how they could pose a threat to humanity. The universe is filled with bizarre and fascinating phenomena, and magnetars are among the mysterious celestial objects that captivate scientists' curiosity. These extreme formations are not fully understood, but they are believed to be a type of neutron star, much like pulsars, created through the aftermath of a supernova explosion. While pulsars emit beams of electromagnetic radiation, Magnetars are distinguished by their incredibly strong magnetic fields, which are orders of magnitude more powerful than those of typical neutron stars. This intense magnetic field can lead to remarkable and enigmatic behaviors, including bursts of X-rays and gamma rays. The concept of magnetars was first proposed in 1979 and these enigmatic objects are thought to be among the densest in the entire universe. Despite the mysteries surrounding them, scientists have identified dozens of magnetars in and around the Milky Way over the years. Stars, like all celestial bodies, undergo a life cycle, and their fate is largely determined by their overall mass. For instance, considering our Sun as an example, it is expected to evolve into a red giant in the later stages of its life cycle. Subsequently, it will transform into a planetary nebula before ultimately becoming a white dwarf. Stars significantly larger than the Sun can undergo a supernova explosion, leading to the formation of either a neutron star or a black hole. Magnetars, specifically, are remnants of massive stars that experienced a supernova explosion and collapsed into a neutron star. The mystery lies in understanding why a supernova results in a magnetar rather than a typical neutron star or pulsar. One hypothesis suggests a connection between the rotational speed of the original star and the formation of magnetars. Scientists are exploring the role of the star's rotation in influencing the outcome of the supernova. Additionally, astronomers suspect that certain bursts of gamma and X-ray radiation observed over the years may be attributed to magnetars, given their exceptionally strong magnetic fields. The magnetic density of a magnetar is astonishingly high ranging from 10 to the power of 13 to 10 to the power of 15 Gauss. This level of magnetism makes magnetars the most powerful magnetic objects known in the universe. To illustrate the extreme strength of their magnetic fields, consider this. If a magnetar were positioned halfway to the moon, its magnetic power could erase all credit cards on Earth. The defining feature of a magnetar is its ultra-powerful magnetic field, estimated to be at least 1,000 times stronger than that of a typical neutron star, and approximately a trillion times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. If one were to come within a 600-mile range of a magnetar, the outcome would be almost certain death. The intense magnetic field would likely dismantle the human body by stripping away electrons from its constituent atoms, turning the individual into a cloud of monatomic ions, single atoms without electrons. While this is a chilling scenario, there is currently no need for concern as no magnetars have been found in close proximity to Earth. As of now, Scientists have confirmed the existence of 23 magnetars, while an additional six objects are still under observation, awaiting further data to determine if they meet the criteria for classification as magnetars.
These objects are dispersed across the Milky Way, but fortunately, none are close to Earth. The closest observed magnetar is an astounding 9,000 light years away in the constellation Carina, followed by another one at 20,000 light years away in Aquila, and the third closest at 50,000 light years away in Sagittarius. There is also a magnetas located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, just outside the Milky Way, at a distance of 165,000 light years. These distances are substantial, extending far beyond the reaches of our current galactic explorations. It may take centuries or even longer before we develop the means to explore these distant regions of our galaxy. In addition to their incredibly powerful magnetic fields, magnetars are known for releasing enormous amounts of energy in the form of X-rays and gamma-ray bursts. These characteristics classify them as contributors to some of the most extreme events in the universe, placing them among the most peculiar objects alongside black holes. One remarkable demonstration of a magnetar's extreme power occurred in 2004 when a flare on the surface of one of these stars was so potent that it affected the Earth's magnetic field from a staggering distance of 50,000 light years away. Recent estimates of neutron star sizes suggest a maximum diameter of 15 miles. Despite their small size, comparable to that of a small city, magnetars with one and a half times the mass of our Sun, can generate enough energy to influence other objects in space over vast distances. The exact means behind how a magnetar generates its incredibly strong magnetic field is still not fully understood, and it remains a topic of ongoing research for astrophysicists. The prevailing theory suggests that it likely involves the density of neutron stars and their strange interiors. Neutron star material, if compressed into a volume the size of a sugar cube, would weigh approximately a billion tons on Earth, equivalent to the weight of an average mountain. The interior of a neutron star is believed to be composed of neutrons, quarks, and other exotic states of matter like Bose-Einstein condensates, forming a superconducting fluid. As the star rotates, it acts like a massive dynamo producing a substantial amount of magnetic energy. Another hypothesis suggests that the magnetic field of a magnetar could originate from its progenitor star, the celestial object, before it transforms into a neutron star. Progenitor stars that eventually evolve into magnetars may possess an unusually strong magnetic field of their own, setting the stage for the magnetar intense magnetic properties. In pursuit of answers to this cosmic puzzle, astronomers deployed the Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer, NICER, to the International Space Station in 2017. NICER's primary mission is to investigate the internal composition of neutron stars. Thus far, the instrument has enabled astronomers to make precise measurements related to the size and density of these enigmatic celestial bodies, offering valuable insights into the nature of neutron stars and, by extension, magnetars. Hey, spacers, you may be wondering what is stronger, magnetars or black holes? But before we go any further, remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more interesting videos about the mysteries of the cosmos. And now, on to magnetars versus black holes. While black holes and magnetars both hold immense gravitational and magnetic forces, comparing them involves considering specific aspects. In terms of gravitational force, black holes are generally more powerful due to their significant mass, even the smallest black holes surpassing the largest neutron stars. On the other hand, when it comes to magnetic force, Magnetars are unparalleled. The magnetic fields of magnetars are the most intense in the known universe, reaching strengths far beyond what black holes exhibit in terms of magnetism. So, while black holes dominate in terms of gravity, magnetars take the lead in magnetic strength. 
Studying objects like magnetars and black holes is crucial for understanding their potential impacts on the universe, including Earth. While the likelihood of a direct encounter with these celestial objects is minimal, their powerful emissions and energetic phenomena can have indirect effects on our planet and technology. The 2004 Magnetars event, which caused significant disruptions to satellite technology, underscores the importance of investigating and monitoring these extreme cosmic events. However, despite their powerful magnetic fields and extreme characteristics, magnetars have a relatively short cosmic lifespan. Observations indicate that their magnetic fields start decaying after about 10,000 years. This short-lived phase suggests that the magnetars we observe today are only a fraction of the potentially numerous magnetars that may have existed in our galaxy over time. It's also reassuring to note that these magnetars, whether active or inactive, have not posed a direct threat to our planet, allowing life to flourish on Earth. The awesome power that these objects hold could end up helping humanity one day. While our technological abilities are still lacking, scientists could one day try and harness the power of magnetars for the betterment of humanity. What do we think spacers? Is such an endeavor possible or is it too risky to mess with such cosmic phenomena? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.